the reason I'm recording this show um, is due to the fact that um, Are You OK Day was last week. So it was, um, yeah, it was a, it's obviously um, been and gone, but the the situation around Are You OK Day um, is obviously, uh, for our international listeners, I'm not sure if it's an international thing, um, it's basically a day where, uh, particularly in Australia, where you would reach out to your friends and family and ask them if they're okay. Um, you know, a lot of people are struggling at the moment. Um, a lot of people not doing particularly well for whatever reason. And um, that's a real shame. So in and around Are You OK Day, uh, a few days earlier, a week earlier, there was an incident where um, uh, an Australian football legend, um, but a very lovable figure in the, the, the Australian football community. So n- not we're not talking here about his um, sporting prowess. Uh, you know, we're talking about the fact that he was a, a guy that, he was a legend because he was a guy that put a smile on the faces of all of those around him. Uh, his name was Danny Frawley and uh, it, it seems as if, um, it, it's never been officially announced, but... Um, Danny Frawley looks to have uh, taken his own life about a week before Are You OK Day and you know Danny is a number of uh, Danny is one of a number of people that would have taken their own life in and around that time so obviously um, we all know somebody who's been affected uh, in the not so distant past or or, or um, or in the distant past or, or closely through a friend or, or a family member who, who has been more affected so you know it's not all about Danny Frawley but it, it just came at a, at a very um, at a very poignant time for for Danny to take his own life around the Are You OK Day date um, when there's a lot of media and resources and um, and and, uh, and conversation going towards mental health um, and I particularly get maddened by it I get uh I get absolutely fucking furious when it comes to the state of what's going on in this day and age. Um I'm not sure if the reporting of the mental health epidemic is because of the fact that we are reporting more. Um obviously for an an example here is um an example here is the fact that my grandfather he had um depression and and um and so forth and he was medicated for 30 years and he ended up taking his own life and yeah maybe there's a mental health epidemic because of the fact that men and women but particularly men are actually reporting the fact that they're not doing so well uh because for my grandfather for example he was a he was a business uh, you know a, uh, a leader in business and a leader in sporting clubs and all these kind of this that and the other and for him to step up and say, hey, I'm not doing well, I'm seeing a psychologist or I've got mental health issues, I've got depression or whatever it is, he would be looked at as weak back in the day. So that's, you know, 50 years past. So I'm not sure whether the spike in mental health, um, the, the spike in mental health issues is because of the reporting or because of the day and age that we live in. I would say, if I had to have a guess, I would say that it's a, a combination of the both, um, which is... Uh, so a combination of the reporting, but also a combination of the fact that we live in a day and age that is a lot different to the day and age that my grandfather grew up in 50 years ago and a lot different again to 100 years ago and very, very, very different to 150 years ago. So if you think of 150 years ago, you know, no flight, uh, bugger all cars, no television, uh, radio was the only form of communication, um, travel was extremely difficult, no internet, um, so a lot more um, times were probably tougher, but people were, were certainly closer, I believe. So so this is the reason that I wanted to record this show. This show is actually, uh, the, the show that I'm recording now is, is um, a show that will go hand in hand with a show that I recorded about a year ago um, around the book Lost Connections by Johan Hari. Um, I actually recorded a show talking about 
uh, the seven lost connections that Johan, um, he highlights in his book. And those seven connections, uh, I spoke about why they're affecting us negatively in this day and age. And at the time, a year, whenever I recorded a year ago, I said that I would record a, um, I would record a sister episode that would be, how do we actually go and put positive spins on all of these seven issues? How do we come out of this, this p- particular position that we're in and how do we go into the future and grow and, and everybody's you know, much happier and much more well-aligned and how do we get out of this predicament that we're in? So, so this is supposed to be the, the positive spin um, on, on um, Johan's book. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, we will have released the previous show right before we release this one. So we're going to do the, um, obviously it would already be out now if you're listening to this, we're going to do the, um, the recap show of the, of the um, original episode. And then this is my, um, yeah, my thoughts really around how we, can, how we can improve the general wellness of the world. Um, particularly the Western world. Um, I'm not saying I don't want to, you know, talk about the, um, you know, the the rest of the world. But but I know very much how life in Australia is. I know very much how life in America is. I feel like I know very much how life in the UK is. And and um, you know, so it's it's what's closest to me and what I what I think is um, easiest for me. Easiest me. Ooh, uh, easiest for me to relate to. 